Federal health officials now weighing their next steps after the White House has declared monkeypox a public health emergency. The virus has been detected in 48 states. There are 95 cases here in our state. The demand for monkeypox vaccines continuing to skyrocket all over the country, with cases doubling by the week in some states. The vast majority of those cases so far have been found among men who have sex with other men, although anybody can get it, including children. LGBTQ groups are also working to get more vaccine clinics up and running. We're here to protect our community and ensure that everyone who's at risk is getting vaccinated. Now, there are now more than 7,100 cases in the United States, at least six states reporting more than 500 of those cases. And a case of monkeypox now confirmed in Franklin County right here at home. This brings the state total to 95 cases since June. Now, doctors at Duke Health say the first symptoms tend to be similar to the flu, but then a painful rash or blisters appear. It actually, those sores that make it easier to test whether you do have monkeypox. It's a swab test. So we know the swabs from COVID as being swabs of the nose. This is a swab typically of the blisters. And those tests take about 24 to 48 hours to get resulted. Now, doctors also say it's imperative that you isolate even the skin that falls off of you while you heal can end up contaminating someone else. Well, Wake County now holding a walk-in monkeypox vaccination event. That's tomorrow. It will be at the Public Health Center on Sunnybrook Road in Raleigh and runs from 10 in the morning to 3 in the afternoon. Plus, Durham County also increasing the amount of appointments for monkeypox vaccines there each day. That starts Monday. People who are scheduled on or after August 22nd will be contacted by the health department to get an earlier appointment if you want it. We've got more information on all of this for you at CBS17.com.